it's Lauren, and today on Stitch Lessons, I'm going to show you how to use ladder stitch. Ladder stitch, if done correctly, is actually relatively invisible, and that's the point. And it kind of looks like a ladder before you pull it tight. When I make a plush toy, I leave an opening when I'm sewing it together, that way I can turn it right side out and stuff it. I use ladder stitch to close that opening when I'm done, so it's a really good stitch to know for plush making. I've also heard this stitch referred to as a hidden stitch. Here's how it's done. Because this stitch is used to close up a gap, I made a tiny pillow to show you how it works, and as you can see, there's a gap on one side. So if you look in closer, you can see that there's a folded edge of fabric inside the gap, and that's important because it gives the needle and thread a little tunnel to push through. Keep that in mind going forward. Push the gap shut so the two sides are lined up and pressed flat, then use a sewing pin to hold it closed. Then thread your needle and tie a knot at the end. I'm using this really thick embroidery floss so you can see what I'm doing. In order to start, begin by putting your needle inside the gap, push it under that flap of fabric, and press it up and out at one end of the gap coming out of that little folded edge I pointed out earlier. That way, when you pull it through, the knot catches and you can tuck it inside of the gap. Then, turn the whole piece around like this. I just find it easier to work with it this way. For your first stitch, draw a line straight across the gap to find this spot on the opposite folded edge. We're going to push the needle down and to the left so it's going straight through that little tunnel under the fold. Then, push it back up just a little bit over from where you started. So it's going in along the fold and coming out a little bit more into the gap still along that fold. After a little tug, that's what the first stitch looks like. For your second one, trace a line back across the gap, push your needle into the opposite folded edge, slide it to the left, and back out along that fold like you did before. Pull the thread through, give it a tug, and there you go. Keep following that pattern in order to close up the gap. Now, like I said, I'm using embroidery floss for this so you can really see what I'm doing, but since this is intended to be relatively invisible, I recommend using thinner thread that blends in with your fabric so it will turn out a lot less obvious than mine. Now sometimes your folded edge might get pulled out like this if it isn't long enough to reach the pin. To avoid that, I like to pinch the gap closed with my other hand as I'm stitching so it stays put. See how it kind of looks like a ladder with the stitches that reach across as the rungs and the sides of the gap making up the long sides of the ladder? Once you've stitched all the way across, you can pull out the pin. Then to secure it, I like to tie a knot by hooking my needle under one of the machine stitches at the end of the gap, pulling it slowly until you get a little loop in your thread, then pulling your needle through that loop and giving it a tug so your knot goes right up against that stitch. Again, this will be much less noticeable with regular sewing thread. To hide the excess thread, push your needle down into the fabric right where your knot is, then push it into the middle of the pillow and back out over here somewhere. Give it a nice tug, then clip off the excess thread so the rest of it gets lost inside when you let go. When you're all done, it should look something like this. And that is how you sew ladder stitch. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you make something lovely with what you learned. If you'd like to see more of the hand sewing and embroidery tutorials in this series, be sure to watch the rest of my Stitch Lessons playlist. Click one of the videos on the screen or check the video description for a link. Happy stitching!